15 parenting rules that were considered normal in the 20th century. 1. Don't think of ugly things. This was the 1910s advice for expecting moms. Ugly thoughts would produce ugly babies. 2. Bathe the baby in lard. This recommendation is from a 1916 guide. A newborn baby should be given an oil bath. This oil may be lard, olive oil, sweet oil, or liquid Vaseline. 3. Potty training begins at birth. This recommendation comes from a 1932 pamphlet. It was published by the U.S. government. 4. No traveling while you're pregnant. In 1935, traveling was declared risky for mothers. Even car rides were considered dangerous. 5. Keep your baby in a cage. Outdoor baby cages were a way to provide fresh air. These airing cages were common in Britain in the 1930s. While mothers were busy with chores, their babies were caged. 6. Radiation is awesome. In the 1950s, radiation wasn't considered dangerous. Atomic toys were all the rage. A mini lab for kids included real uranium and polonium. 7. Smoke more to be more regular. Pre-war doctors advised pregnant women to take up smoking. It was supposedly a way to get rid of constipation. A 1966 obstetrics textbook said 10 cigarettes a day was safe. 8. Don't wash your baby too often. Mother and Baby magazine published this tip in 1972. Twice a week was considered enough washing for an infant. 9. Drink a pint of Guinness a day if you're pregnant. Beer was touted as a good source of iron. This wise tip comes from 1916. But as late as 1957, Mother and Baby wrote, some members of the medical profession maintained they always advocate a daily glass of beer as a recuperative for nursing mothers. 10. Quinine will prevent them sucking. A popular 1911 parenting book contained this tip. Paint your children's nails with quinine. They won't suck on their thumbs anymore. 11. Don't kiss your child. This comes from a 1928 parenting manual. Never hug and kiss your children or let them sit on your lap. Shake hands with them in the morning. Give them a pat on the head if they have made an extraordinarily good job of a difficult task. If you must, kiss them once on the forehead when they say good night. 12. Alcohol calms down babies. A variety of baby calming syrups contained alcohol. Some were prescribed to infants as young as five days old. The syrups contained almost 50% pure alcohol. Early 1900s formulas added opium for more punch. 13. Don't give in to your kids' demands. This politically tinged advice appeared in 1962. Walter Sackett's Bringing Up Babies warned, if we teach our offspring to expect everything to be provided on demand, we must admit the possibility that we are sowing the seeds of socialism. 14. Babies must sleep on their bellies. Today, the official recommendation is the opposite, but the 1984 pregnancy book said, for the first two months or so, the safest way for babies to sleep is on their fronts, head to one side, or else curled up on one side. 15. Provoke their bowel movements. This is from a 1935 U.S. Department of Labor infant care pamphlet. Parents were advised to provoke a bowel movement using a soap stick if necessary 